actually using the Ulanzi light that I had um, talked about in my last video. If you guys haven't checked out my last video, check it out. Vlogmas 8 5. Get with it. So I actually like it. I didn't feel like having all these lights on and stuff like that. So this is like at the lowest, the lowest setting, you guys. If y'all see it in the glasses, y'all see it in the glasses, honey, because I need my glasses. I need my glasses. Hey y'all, welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. So I just wanted to get right into it. I want to talk about losing and finding yourself after having kids. So I had my son later on in life. I was 30 when I um, had my son. I found out when I was 29, a couple months before my birthday in April. Um, Having children was not on my to-do list, but it was definitely something that ended up happening for me um so if you decided that you wanted to have children or you got pregnant and you made the decision once you found out you were pregnant that you wanted to have kids inevitably um if you are a mother that's worth their weight um, you're gonna get lost in your kids it's it's gonna happen so I found myself um the ways that I got lost in my son I found myself just kind of losing my complete identity in being a mom and being there for him so i didn't care about how i dressed i wasn't too concerned about how i looked i wasn't interested in dating i wasn't interested in um sex or anything like that after i had him um and it wasn't that i couldn't do any of those things it was that i simply lost the desire to do it because i was just so engulfed in being a mom um i never knew what type of mom i would be because i never planned on being a mom but once i had him i turned into this person that grew in an obsession I, I would like to call it an obsession with my child and it's not a bad thing to I guess be obsessed with your child maybe that's like a poor word to use but just I didn't care about anything that had to do with me I only cared about things that had to do with my son and so because of that um I lost myself in being a mom and I put so much value and so much effort into pleasing him that if it was something that I did that he wasn't pleased with I felt bad about myself or I felt like I wasn't a good mom or I began to get a little bit depressed because I'm like well I did this for him and I figured he would have this type of reaction but he didn't have this type of reaction and so I know that there are a lot of moms out there that go through the same things of getting lost in your child or getting lost in your children and just trying to find yourself again so like for me my son would get out of school um i would go up to the school and wait in line for like an hour and a half just so i would be like the second or third car in line so that he wouldn't have to stand outside long so that he would have the perception of i know as soon as i go outside my mom's gonna be there when in hindsight he didn't care about any of that he just didn't care so um and it did happen with him where he hurt my feelings and for some reason that was what it took to kind of like snap me out of it this was like last year or the year before um my son is nine so yeah I've, I've been i've been i've been going through this for a while trying to get myself back like before i had my son just a little rehab before i had my son i wore heels all the time i made sure that my hair was always done i really cared about my appearance i was a girly girl i got my kept my feet done kept my nails done i wasn't a seasonal pedicure type girl i was a wintertime getting my feet and nails done it didn't matter that was just something that i did um i made sure that i was waxed and all all of the things that um to me it's like stuff that girly girls do perfume having like crazy um well not crazy but having like elaborate um shower routines and caring more about caring more about the particulars when it came to me so um when i had him i like lost all of that in my opinion i like lost all of that so um i haven't worn heels in so very long that if you know if you wore heels before and then you stop wearing heels you know that you really have to train your feet all over again you have to train your posture all over again so now i'm in the process of doing that again so now i'm getting back to that space with me where i'm like oh you know what i want to i want to get back to that person because i know that she's in there because i can feel her i i, I think about her I, I see her in my mind and it's like i want her to be on the outside where now she's on the inside when before she was on the outside um so some of the tips 
And some of the things that I do now in order to just get a little bit of me back in order for me to just have more time with myself and i know this is not going to be ideal for everybody i know everything is not for everybody so these are just the things that i did so like for me i um all of the things that i wanted to do that i wasn't doing because i didn't want to just either i felt guilty about doing things just solely for myself i started taking myself out like solo dates so um i've had people that wanted to take me out on dates and stuff like that and i'm like no i don't want to go out on a date with anybody i want to go out on a date with myself i want to get back to knowing me and understanding me and it doesn't have to be like an elaborate date you don't have to get dressed up to go on a solo date or anything like that you can go to mcdonald's and eat in your car or something like that taking time out and, and just making time for yourself where you're not choosing your kids and that's the biggest part about it because you feel guilty about not choosing your kids but you have to take time out to sometimes not choose your kids and choose you so if it's one of those things where they're like oh we want to go to the park but you don't feel like going to the park then no we're not going to the park i want to go out to eat but you don't feel like going out to eat with them and no we're not going out to eat it's some things where you have to you have to choose you it can't always be like everything is about pleasing your child everything is about doing what your child likes to do everything is about putting a smile on your child's face you have to also do things that are going to be good for your mental health because it is draining when you are doing something with your children for your children that at that particular point in time you don't want to do and it is okay with that it doesn't make you a bad parent because you don't want to take your kids to the park one day or because you don't want to take your kids to Chuck E. Cheese one day that doesn't make you a bad parent and so I think a lot of times people kind of pin themselves up against other parents and see how other parents parent and like that's how I want to parent and you can't do that because every kid not the same everybody kids doesn't don't have the same temperament everybody's parenting style is not the same so I started taking myself out um I was getting my lashes done but when I tell y'all I ain't this type of girl. I'm not this type of girl. Like, the lashes was cute, but I'm like, so I gotta come back in another two weeks and get to spend like another $120? Maybe down the line. Maybe down the line, but for right now, I, I feel like I could do I could do better, smarter things for me right now than spending $120 every two weeks, especially because I don't really go out as much as I feel like I would need to in order for me to get my money's worth for my lashes now if I was like a person that went out a lot and things like that then I can understand it but I really go out um it's not rarely but it's kind of rarely um I haven't gone on a solo date in quite a while and that's definitely something that I do want to do again because I've been doing a lot of different things. But I'm still taking time out for myself. So we did like dinner day. You could do like solo dinner. You go get your nails done. Go get your eyelashes done. If you want to get your eyelashes done, go get a pedicure. Um, you could go just, like I said, you can go sit in your car. Having a long time in your car, if you can have a long time in your car or a long time in like a certain space. If you want to take a bath, a quiet bath. Sometimes you just got to tell them kids no. Sometimes you just have to tell the children no. And I know everybody doesn't have the freedom to do a lot of things that a lot of people have the freedom to do when they have children. I'm fortunate enough where I have an immense amount of help when it comes to my son. So I had to realize that all of this time I was choosing to be um, the everything. And I didn't have to be the everything when I had a village behind me that was willing to help me and wanted to help me. So I started letting... Um, my my help my family like I started to let the people in my life that actually wanted to help me help me so it's like sometimes they're like oh well do you want me to pick him up from school it's like yeah you can pick him up from school or do you want us to go and grab him something to eat yeah you can grab him something to eat okay well you ordered a package offline do you want us to go and pick the package up offline it's like yeah it's those little small things that alleviate a lot of stress that's my candle it's this these wooden wick candles i thought it was really going to be something that i liked but i don't know they burn kind of high and it's kind of crazy and i cut the things but that's that's off topic but it's loud i don't know if y'all can hear it or not so um just if you have a village just allow them to help you it is okay for you to be like 
no i didn't do that for for my child today somebody else did it no i didn't cook i didn't i didn't cook dinner for my child today somebody else did it type thing so it's okay to do that but for me i was i wanted to be the one that bear the most responsibility when it came to everything and and his dad is like his dad is and was like you know well i could do this and i could do this and i could do this. and at first i was like no 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 i could do it i could do it i could do it i could do it and he's like you sure and i'm like sure i could do it but now i'm like yeah okay yeah thanks for the help with that yeah thanks for the help with that yeah thanks for taking him for a winter break thanks for taking him for summer break you know it, and it was that type of thing and of course he's just like you know you can thank me for being being a parent you'll have to do that but it's more or less thank you for um being available to take that time with him so that i can have time with myself type thing so it's like it's never a problem for him to go with him and stay with him for an undis undisclosed amount of time it's never like a end time for like when he has to go home or anything like that so it's like that makes it very um it makes it very much easier for me to take time out to do stuff for myself even if you do nothing in that time i didn't know that i needed a break until i got a break all of this time i thought that i was just you know it was not a big deal or anything like that but having the time to actually being a parent but not being a parent is something that you definitely need having the time to say like I know my child's at their dad's house or my child's at their mom's house so I can actually not worry about them I, I don't have to worry about cooking I don't have to worry about cleaning up after them I don't have to worry about um making sure that they're okay if they're in the room by themselves checking in on them and things like that I don't have to it's just like just the 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 parent stuff you don't have to worry about that because the other parent has them or another person who's in the village um the, the family has them that's gonna take that responsibility off of you I didn't know that I needed that I didn't I didn't understand that just that peace of mind for a moment where I could actually be like I don't have to be a parent right now I could take that hat off and set it down I don't have to be that everything right now it's very refreshing and like I said I know a lot of people don't have um those options and for that I, I hope that at some point in time you are able to find people around you where you can have those options with um I can only talk about the things that I did I know like I said everything is not going to be for everybody so I definitely hope that this is going to help um somebody i know what it's like to lose yourself in your child or in your children and how difficult it is to get back to you without having that guilt of getting back to you even something as simple as going to get you something to eat it's like you feel guilty for not getting your child something to eat when you go and get you something to eat it's okay to sometimes just get yourself something to eat it is okay it is okay and i had to tell myself that a bunch of times in order for me to actually feel comfortable enough with it to be like yeah i went out to eat so it's okay to choose you even and especially when you are a parent i feel like it's necessary to remember who you were before you had your children remember how you loved on yourself before you had children and don't just take all of that love that you have for yourself and put it into your children your love for your children is, is, is going to be separate from the love that you have for yourself and you cannot transfer over that love to your children it's like you already are going to love your children a, a specific certain unique type of way um but you have to remember how specifically and uniquely you love yourself before you had your children so that you don't lose yourself in your children and you're not one of those people that your child is grown and you don't want your kids to be with nobody you don't want your children to get married to nobody because you've given your child your all your all and you're like you can't leave me now because i've devoted my whole life to you and it's like i don't want you to be with somebody else my, my life is being your mom your life cannot be being a mom it cannot be being a mom should be part of your life even if it's a large part of your life but being a mom should not be your identity and it should not be um your life it should not you should not just be like i'm a mom and that's just that's no you cannot i feel like that is very um toxic for yourself to just identify as being a mom even if you're a stay-at-home mom you're not just a stay-at-home mom 
You're not just a stay-at-home mom. You're something else. You're somebody else aside from that. So it's good to actually just sit with yourself and talk out these things. I'm a very firm believer of talking out loud by yourself does not make you crazy as my mom says as long as you're not answering but sometimes if an answer comes to you sometimes it, it's, it's the higher powers giving you that information and that needs to be said out loud as well sometimes your greatest um insights for yourself will come when you're by yourself talking out loud because you get time to actually put yourself in a position where you're not putting that information into somebody else you're actually speaking out loud and that information is coming back to you and I feel like it's easier to answer questions for yourself when you say it out loud so I do spend a quite a bit of time um, talking things out by myself to myself and it has helped me out tremendously and I guarantee you you'll be a better parent for it you'll be a better person for it because I definitely know that I'm a better parent and I'm a better person for it so that's it for this video you guys and I will see you guys tomorrow for vlogmas day 7